Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 Porsche Taycan Turbo. You got a need for speed. Uh, this is, would be the way to go about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas. If you come here on vacation and you like cars, you got to stop by. They're all for sale. We got a little bit of everything in here. European, American, Japanese, we got them all. We got them all in here. So today we have this amazing, you have this amazing opportunity to buy this car. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is, uh, it's, it's black. It's got a, a gold package to it. It says Taycan Turbo down the side. It's got carbon fiber. It's got all the bells and whistles. And it's so incredibly fast, you really wouldn't believe it. I don't even know how else to say it. It's so fast. You ever gone zero to 60 in two seconds? I don't, not you drag racers. On the street, zero to 60 in two seconds. Two, two. It's nuts. Uh, I'm your living, breathing condition report guy, folks. Um, our charger, see the fancy chargers right here on the floor? We've had it plugged in all night long, and uh, we keep this thing charged up. That belongs in the trunk, by the way. There's a, there's a case back there for it, so everything, uh, every, everything comes with this car. Got two charging ports, um, four doors, an amazing interior, and there is a sound that comes out of this. Uh, I don't know who put it there, but you know, you, like the Millennium Falcon going through space, Star Wars, Star Trek. This has got that sound. Uh, it's really incredible. And uh, it makes you want to drive it a lot and stand next to it so you can hear the sound that it makes, especially coming in and out of the showroom. It's just so cool. But uh, yeah, I'm your living, breathing condition report guy. I'm the guy that goes over the paint. Maybe you live on the East Coast, you can't come see it. You really wanted one of these, but you're really picky about the paint and all those things. I don't see any signs of any part of it ever being painted. Um, there's not a whole lot of miles on this car at all. Go to celebritycars.com to find out all the info. Uh, it's, it's just, it's, uh, it, look, look at this car. Now, um, are there any imperfections on it, like scratches and stuff like that? I haven't had a chance to go over this car in full detail. I know there's a small chip on the windshield in one or two places. Does that mean you need to replace the windshield? No, they're just small chips, uh, normal, normal road wear. And from what I understand, uh, and from what I can see here that I have seen so far, there's just normal road wear up here. Now it's a black car, so what's that mean? Well. It means that all that normal environment stuff, even if you drive this just a thousand miles, you're gonna get a little couple little blips up here you can see because it's black. Um, they're really minor. That one was a bug. That was a bug. I gotta talk to our detailers. That's not a bug. So that's a small mark. Um, I'm gonna let Quincy, uh, I will rem remove my hand in just a moment because I know that screws with focus. But this little plane right here, that my hand's in front of. Super, super, super small. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna point him out. I'm, I'm gonna kinda just let, this is just normal, folks. It's normal. I mean, I, I know he's probably focusing in on those little bumps and stuff like that. It's just normal stuff. We, this is how we roll here at Celebrity Cars. Um, a car with uh, you know, 10, 15, 20,000 miles, somebody says, oh, there's nothing. Well, it's, that's untrue. You just don't get a chance to see it until it's in your driveway and you go, oh. So we like to spell it all out for you. Now, what I don't see is a scratch, a chunk of a, a, a dent, a ding, hard scratch, none of those things. This is beautiful. Does it have slight wear to it, like I've just been saying for the last three minutes? Sure, but I don't, if I see a great big chunk or a great big scratch, I point it out. Um, Let's be fair to this automobile that it's black and it's gonna have little road wear on it. And I'm pretty sure Quincy did a really good job of letting you know uh, what's going on. Now, the next thing, see how low this is down front? Ooh, no, no scraping. Uh, wow. It's almost hard to believe, hold on. Wow. Uh, 
but folks, every underneath, oh, okay, oh, I feel better now. <laughs> Jeez, it's like, how did you get away with not, there's a small mark right here, but other than that, this is, you know, I don't care how many miles are on it, everybody bangs up underneath here, and this is wonderful, there's nothing. So, we're, we're, you're in good shape. It didn't even scrape against anything, but, oh, barely. So, no cracks in this carbon fiber down here. Yeah, there's camera lenses, boy, there's everything going on in this car. This car's amazing. Okay, let's work our way down the driver's side. I don't see anything, folks. I just see these little normal stuff you get when you drive a black car. That's it. Front wheel, driver's side. Look at this beautiful wheel. And folks, look at that brake. Look at the brakes to this car. <laughs> yep, you can almost stand and just look at it for a while. Tires seem to be fine, folks. This wheel is just sick. All the way down the driver's side here. I've got the key in my pocket, so it's talking to me a little bit. It's wondering when I'm gonna get in the car or not. Uh, carbon fiber down the sides, beautiful shape. Door panel, beautiful shape. Any of those annoying clear coat scratches getting in and out of the car that we hate so much and we gotta go get that polish and try to get them out? There's little to no. There's little to, to zero, there's little to zero of those scratches here. So, holy crap. Working your way down. Um, I think on occasion, and I'm not really sure, and I'm, I'm really, I, I don't wanna grab a, this is a really nice car. I try not to touch it. <laughs> That's how it goes, folks. Uh, I think there might be some really light in the clear coat, but I'm, I might even be making it up. I'm just looking at the, we got fancy lights in here. We've, you know, got skylights and, you know, that's kind of like a magnifying glass in here. So I, I, I'm being really picky. I'm just, I'm just calling out what it is. Got a clear bra right here doing lots of protecting and it's done a very nice job of that. There's barely anything on it. You know what? You want me to get picky? There's a ding right here. The size of a the head of a pen. It's so super small. Talk to us, it bugs you a ton, we'll get it out. That's how we work around here. Okay, continuing down. This is beautiful paint. Oh, driver's side, rear wheel and tire, no curb rash, nobody banged up against anything, we're in good shape. All the body panels line up real nice. A little dust here and there, sorry. Welcome to Las Vegas. Okay, let's just continue around the back of the car. I'm gonna make sure nobody backed into anything back here. This car is awfully intelligent. I don't even think it would let you back into anything if you were backing up. Taycan Turbo, Porsche, mm -hmm. everything here is beautiful. All of this is gorgeous, folks. No scrapes getting in and out of the trunk. This real spoiler is beautiful. Back glass is beautiful. We didn't look at the top yet, but I'm sure that's in pretty darn good shape. Over here, we just have more beautifulness, folks. Rear passenger side, wheel and tire, no curb rash. Brakes are incredible. Everything's clean, the barrel's clean. Every once in a while, my eye does catch a couple of those clear coat, normal things, you know, like your normal cleaning. Um, but I mean, geez, easy, easy enough to get out with the, with the right polish. Okay, I'm trying to find more marks for you folks. That's what I'm doing. In case you're like wonder, watching these videos for the first time, I do this to every single car in the showroom, every car that we have for sale. Uh, we, uh, we, we treat them all the exact same way. Wonderful, 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 and no curb rash once again. So all four wheels and tires were in great shape. Side mirrors look great. Okay, the windshield, uh, let's discuss that. So there's a small itty bitty chip right there. Again, no, we do not need to replace the windshield. Don't be silly. And over here, almost the exact same spot. Actually, we have two. Super, super small, super, super small. Rest of the windshield's beautiful. Let's look at the roof. Just as I suspected. It's beautiful up here too, a little bit of crud that pss, pss, I need to clean up. No scratches. I can kind of sort of see through. Pretty neato. What a car. 
Okay, well, there you have the outside condition. Look, we're gonna open up all these doors if the car lets me. I did lock it. There we go. The door handles come out to you and greet you, if, they, if you will. Seats moving back. Assist you in the car. It's beautiful interior. Little piece of dust, it's goner. Yeah, getting out of the driver's seat, folks. Um, little to nowhere, little to nowhere. Dashboard lights up all nice and bright. And we'll play a little bit more with that once we get in it and we drive it around the block, which we're, which we're gonna do. So I'm gonna hunker down and look a little bit more and make sure I don't see any pulls or rips or tears in this leather that I can let you know about once we get it outside and you know in the sunlight and so on and so forth. Let's go look in the trunk. Okay, looks like we have a big fancy uh, speaker system in here. So I would presume that, uh, holy crap, this thing sounds good. This is uh, your books. And this is where you keep that charger that I showed you earlier on the floor. And there's little to no scrapes and scratches getting in and out of There's a couple right here for some reason. It's nice and clear over here. This is beautiful. Uh, the carpet is all good. There's no stains. And we're in good shape there. I hit this really cool button. Move out of the way. All right. And then I reach in my pocket and I hit this button. And up front here, uh, you put groceries up here. Your weekend bag. Sorry, you're not gonna get a whole lot more in there, but you know, it's a four door. You got a back seat, you got room to put all your stuff. Very nice and clean in here. Uh, I don't see anything that makes me question anything. It's a beautiful car and super clean. I, I guess if you categorize this car, this would this is kind of sort of the supercar of supercars to be able to go that fast. I guess, you know, all, all electric maybe. A little bit of cheating there, but you know, if you watch any of our other videos with me in electric cars, you know, Everybody has a preference, and uh, but this is just unreal. You will pretty much have never gone faster than in this automobile, unless you're on one of those little motorcycles, and you know, then you got all kinds of other things going on. <laughs> hey, we're gonna drive it. We'll be right back. The 2020 Porsche Taycan Turbo. Sometimes I just can't believe I'm even sitting in the driver's seat of this thing. Folks, the beautiful backup screens, the, the electronics in here, the navigation system, the buttons you hit that go sport. And we're not doing that, by the way. We're just gonna drive this the way it is. It's got jazz playing in the background. It's just like, I feel like I'm in somebody's home. Smells incredible. It's just crazy. My foot's on the brake. I'm gonna engage drive by just doing that. And off we go. Doing 50 miles an hour, I'm gonna hit the brakes pretty good. Three, two, and one. Whoa. That was, uh, you know, kind of normal braking. Um, I, I, that, uh, this, yeah, we just looked at all those brakes. This is about as uh, 
wow, this car, I don't even know, I don't even know what to say. Uh, if you, if you, you want to go faster than everybody else, here, here you go. All right, we're going to go over some speed bumps that were newly installed in our parking lot, which we don't like very much, but we understand it's, uh, it's safety reasons. But uh, it's good for these cars. We've got some old cars and stuff. Get to hear the suspension. If it wakes up any other rattles that you might want to know about, this is obviously, you can't hear anything. Beautiful. Now we're gonna to get to this stop sign here. I'm gonna make a right hand turn and you know, we'll hit the gas a little bit. Don't, you know, we're not going crazy here. This is an hour car and could be yours and we don't wanna do extra things. But we're gonna hit it a little bit because you know, it's kind of sort of the fastest car in the world. Right up there, top five. My cheeks went back. Yeah, it's... Folks, I wish you could be here feeling this. This is just uh, really out of control. I barely hit the gas pedal. My head snapped back and I felt my cheek move. <laughs> so, yeah. Folks, I, 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 I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not an electric car guy. Uh, this is about as incredible as it gets. And I have zero bad things to say about this car. It's an incredible driver and uh, it should be yours. But listen, if you found this video on uh, YouTube and you haven't looked at the car yet, it's at celebritycars.com. So go check it out. You'll find out all the things, how many owners it's had, you know, the car facts and all that jazz. And uh, give us a call if you have any more questions. 702-818-1031. Have a good one.